Hey guys and welcome back to Nisha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you this easy, simple, sweet and spicy garlic salmon recipe. And I'm using salmon steaks today. I have lots and lots of garlic. That's actually a whole bowl of garlic that I chopped up. <laughs> Y'all know I love the peach preserves. You can use pineapple preserves. Honestly, any preserves you could get your hand on will work in this case. I have sriracha and some Cajun seasoning and of course butter. So to make the sauce, you're going to need two tablespoons of sriracha. I eyeball because I do this all the time, but just do what I say, not as I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of the preserves. Now, y'all, don't put the, if you're using a tablespoon, don't just put it exactly at the line. Like, fill up the tablespoon, you guys. Don't worry about it being perfect. Fill it up. And then I added loads of garlic down in here as much as I could fit. And if you don't like garlic, just do half the amount, but I put like almost half of what I had chopped up down in here, as much as I could fit. You can see, look, it's nice and chunky, okay? And then you're gonna mix it up, and that's pretty much the sauce that's gonna go on top. Look at that piece of garlic leaf. Child, it's all gonna get cooked down, honey. Don't even worry about it. This is the butter I'm using. I'm showing it because I want you to know exactly what I'm using so that when you make your salmon, it should look exactly like mine's, okay? Don't come over here bothering me. Why mine don't look like... Because you ain't used what I used, okay? So now I'm going <laughs> to melt the butter, butter down some and smear it all over the salmon. It's going to make it nice and crispy on the edges on the outside and, you know, give it flavor. Next, I'm gonna season it up with this Cajun seasoning and this is the only spice I'm gonna be using. The same thing you do on top is the same thing you're gonna do on the bottom. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. So this is how the salmon looks, nice and seasoned with that Cajun seasoning, but you can use your favorite brand or your favorite all-purpose or seafood seasoning on the fish. But like I said, that's what I wanted to use, so that's what I used. After I added the spices, I kept dabbing it with even more butter to get it nice and sealed in because we are gonna put that sauce on top and what, what will happen is it'll just melt right off if you don't like seal it in, in my opinion anyway. Y'all, my theory is just, just do what I say. <laughs> but now I'm gonna put the sauce all over top like this right here and y'all first of all this sauce is very garlicky do not make this if you're going on a date okay the garlic comes through but this salmon is just oh my goodness and y'all know I love salmon it de is definitely up there top five of probably my 20 salmon recipes on this channel and one of the easiest to make too uh it's very flavorful delicious healthy and I it was good so i hope somebody give it a try next i added it to my air fryer because why not you know we're not going to turn the oven on when it's 105 degrees outside so here we are y'all i've been using the heck out this air fryer um this summer so far and i hope it still lasts me through the winter i really like this air fryer but anyway this is what the salmon looks like beautiful crusty crispy glazed delicious cooked all the way through look how beautiful this is like you're not gonna get this at, at the restaurant you have to make this at home right to get it how you want it but look how beautiful this is like i cannot it's perfect it's moist and i'm gonna be repeating this i'm probably gonna make this for the holidays you guys this is this was so good like i said it's up there with my top five um <laughs> i have a lot of salmon recipes um, that I love. It's a couple I probably love more than this one, but this is definitely top five. And uh, so I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you do, tag me and let me know what you think on my social media. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye!